Hey guys, welcome to another Home Lab series video today. In today's video, we'll be having fun playing around with Efain, which is spelled like A F F I N E, so it's kind of like a fine or Afine. Um, but it's I think based off of how 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 it is in in GitHub, it's Efain. I think it's how it's supposed to be pronounced. But if I'm wrong, I'm sorry. <laughs> um, but what it is is it's essentially kind of like. Um, note taking, but you can also make diagrams um, and you know build a lot of kind of collaboration into like one page as opposed to just you know a confluence doc. It it can also include so much other things, which is really cool. When I started looking at it, um, and I don't even hit like half the depths of what it can do, obviously. Um, but this is kind of something that was really cool if you're looking for like some team collaboration. But some people are like more you know diagramming versus like just reading a, a documentation. Um, but you can also include like tasks and things like that that looks like in a Kanban board in, into the document too. Um, so you kind of got your planning, your collaboration, your diagrams, and your documentation all in one place. Um, so it's pretty cool um, when I found this. So let's get started and I'll show you how you can set it up. Alright, so to get started, we're going to create a VM for this. So um, this VM obviously will need a DNS entry, so let's get a DNS set up. Um, so we'll set up our DNS via our GitLab pipeline, updating our zone file that will get deployed automatically. So A-F-F-I-N-E is how you set it. And we'll make it just the next entry here. So we'll do 106. We'll commit this. Ifane. Commit. And we're good on this. So we like using Ansible um, to kind of automate our build process. So we have um, our uh, Ansible inventory here that we'll be editing to say pretty much, hey, you know, this is another new host. Let's let's allow it to be hit. So we'll say a fade. We'll commit that. And then we should be good. So this is all the prereqs to essentially allow us to use our AWX um, which is just a GUI interface uh, management for Ansible to be able to hit uh, and run our playbooks that will create our VM, patch it, install Docker and Docker Compose, which is a requirement for this. Um, and we'll have it also create certs on our local CA and set up Nginx with those certs so that we can essentially have TLS encryption. Um, so we'll hit our workflow. So we'll name it Fane. Um, it was the 106 here. We all name just the same thing, and then the proxy address. So this is where a fane will be running. Um, so let's look up a fane GitHub real quick. Well, it will be running, and I think there was an installation down here for self-hosted. Yeah, self-hosted. If you're looking at the documentation, self-hosted at the bottom. Let's open this up. Okay, so it's gonna download that, and we're gonna use their Docker Compose YAML on their uh, deployment self-hosted. So let's go up here real quick. Let's see. Dot GitHub deployment self-hosted compose, and let's read this real quick. So from the looks of it, and. Looking at this, I am gonna bet it's 31, 30, 10 is where it, the GUI will be soft posted. It could be 5555, five, 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 but I think it's gonna be 3010 here. Um, so we'll do 3010, but if if at the end of the day um, we have to edit it, it's not that big of a deal, too. So localhost 3010, and we will launch. So this will take a few minutes, but essentially it will go through the whole process, install everything, patch it. Um, and pretty much give us to a point where all we have to do is run the documentation on how to um, set up Ifane, and then we should be golden. So once this process finishes, we'll uh, resume uh, where, where we'll get to the next point. So, all right, so now that it has finished installing, what we should be able to do is open up a terminal window and SSH to the server that got created. So let's SSH to it, log in, and we are in. So we have obviously Docker installed and everything, um, but what we'll probably need to do 
is make sure git is installed because we're going to clone the repo so we will install git this should take only a few seconds because git is a pretty small package all right so that completed and then lots of copy and pasting so we'll copy this in here paste this it will clone the repo down, so you can see this repo is cloning. It's going to go hopefully pretty quick. 13.9 megabytes per second. It's clearly not going quick enough. <laughs> oh, I didn't know that there's a little bar up here that, that loads too, to, to show. That's kind of neat. It's 96. That's cool. Okay. <clears throat> Enough being surprised. So now we got the directory, so we can go to the directory. So you can see this is everything that is in the directory. So what we have here is essentially what we will run. So we will copy this, um, but we won't run it just like this. So we will we want hyphen D to, for to run detach mode, and we'll we'll update the admin email dragon at dragon.local and we can leave the admin password to be whatever since we're just demoing this okay so after that you should just be able to run it and it should pull down all the things that it needs to the postgres database redis memcache um and then the whole you know core affine you know two 272 megs um to pull down so it shouldn't it shouldn't be too bad so um, looks like it's almost done 18 19 seconds oh it's stuck now it's stuck I had to jinx it guys this is this is why this <laughs> this is this is why you don't say stuff out, out loud you only think it in your head <laughs> um, so it will wait for these to run so now we can see everything started running and whatnot um, what we'll do is dock the PSA so we can see that it is running and it should be all good. Everything's up, nothing has restarted. Um, so there's, there's obviously a few few more things here if you're looking to um, specifically set some things. So, oh yeah, so I was right, 30, 30, 30, 10 here. So what we'll do is now we should be able to go to a browser. We type HTTPS, a fiend afane.dragon.local it should bring us to our workspace so this is this is essentially what what the workspace looks like we're gonna we're gonna dock mode it real quick because i hate um light mode but you can kind of see that there's this whole like um diagram like thing which is really really cool actually um but also on the same page you can see that there is a whole doc that kind of relates to it. Um, so what we'll do here is actually sign in and enable. So this will essentially be doing the what what we set up. So dragon dragon local with um, the password um, never and uh, we'll enable the cloud, which which really isn't enabling the cloud, just enabling saying hey save this onto our server that we just created. So from here, essentially this, I mean, looks very similar to um, like docmost. If you watch my docmost video, um, slash for commands, you kind of got your basic text, headers, whatnot. There's a, an uh, Efane AI, um, but I think this one you have to pay for like the subscription to to actually use. So, but you got you got your general stuff, like, you know, your style, your italics, your your links and stuff like that. So you can still use everything. It's just the, the AI stuff. I think you got to be subscribed. Um, but the cool thing here is like with the table here um, that I saw was you can do a Kanban view of the of a table view. So you can add all your tasks and you can Kanban it. So it looks like, you know, a Kanban board here and you can drag and move things to different um, columns um, and it should update on the table view as well. So uh, that is pretty slick if you want to try to like keep everything documented in the same place and you're working with multiple different you know projects and whatnot um, you don't have to go to like a Jira board um, and look at a Jira board while you look at a Confluence page at the same time it's all there um, and if if you're not really much of a you know 
uh, dock person, there is the whole uh, switch to this kind of like more graphical user, you know, um, dashboard that you can kind of see where you can have, you know, your thing up here, how it relates, your table for reference and stuff like that, and put it all in here for people who are more visual as opposed to just wants to read once. So that is actually pretty sweet. You can write, draw, and plan all at once. Um, so it's pretty easy. You can, you know, create a new co collection over here, um, you know, home lab, save that. You can create new docs, new docs. First doc. Um, actually, I don't know if that would save in home lab. Let's do this. First doc, um, and and obviously as a as a first starts off, you don't you don't have anything. But as you write things, writing random things, it will populate like here with with like your first. Here's the doc. You can add shapes like sticky notes. You can add other text and things like that to kind of map things together. Um, you can curve link things together like this. Um, so there's like a lot of things, especially for those who are more visual. I am really bad at, you know, making visual diagrams, as you can tell. Um, but you can see that, you know, people who are more visual can can use this to kind of correlate, you know, the doc with how the project is supposed to be done. So um, that's pretty much what I got for this. Obviously, there is a lot more that you can do with this from, from first glance. So feel free to install it and see what you can do with it. And hopefully you have some fun with it. So uh, if you enjoyed the video, please leave a like, comment, subscribe, and we'll see you guys in the next video. Bye.